Good morning. It's another fine morning here in the northeastern United States, 6.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're getting started a little late this morning. Had a few extra things we needed to do to get ready to go. But um, we're going to do a quick one in our Walking Molly series. As you can see, she's back at it again. Molly's on the trail. Let's continue to make our way in the fall. Every day I come out, the trees look a little bit, uh, they have a little bit more color to them. It won't be long now. They'll, all the leaves will be on the ground. And we'll be talking about Thanksgiving and, and then Christmas after that. Everybody ready for the holidays? Which we got a ways to go. It's not even Halloween yet. I don't even like to really start talking about it until we get past the end of October. It is apple picking time. Colleen's got her coffee. We have to find a time to go and get our pumpkins and our apples. Pumpkins and apples. A few years ago, we brought Molly as a baby to pick apples. All the kids came over to pet her because she was so cute. Yeah, I've posted a picture of her sitting in the pumpkin patch. She's a cutie. She's a little cutie. I wonder if we're going to see any wildlife this morning. Yesterday, actually, we got back from our walk. I was leaving to go to work, and there they were, down Sandy Knoll on the right side. The turkeys coming were? The, coming out of the woods, so I think they yeah. spend the night in the woods right there. They probably do. I don't know if they... I know they do get up into trees. I don't know if they spend the night in the trees or not, but... It's nice to have the turkeys in the neighborhood, besides the kids. Walking and chatting in the morning. Neighbor's got his irrigation system going. Here's a nice lawn, nice green lawn. That's the key is the water. Keep it watered. Yeah, it's tough. Tough to keep it green. Every now and then I gotta remind Molly she's on the lead. Give her a little tug. She doesn't drag me down the street. And she continues to leave her message along the way. Her email or p mail. As we make our way to the stop sign. Yep, the trees are definitely have more color this morning than they did yesterday. It's crazy how quickly they change. Very vibrant. Yep. Lovely. All right, Molly's taking us to the right, so we'll go to the right. So where the pasture was, what's right there was the left before it, so they were coming out of. That's where the turkeys so were. Right here, which are very dense and dark. I can see why they might spend the night in there. Yeah. I can see that. can hear the the birds and the chipmunks making noises, little chirps. They're waking up for the day. It's uh looks like it's gonna be a clear day today. Yesterday, uh, when we started our chat, it was still overcast. And then we saw that really fabulous sunrise 
with the vibrant orange and pink hues on the clouds. Very pretty. Come on, Molly. Very pretty. Good stuff. How you make it out? Yeah. Yep. Well, of course, we have our morning business to take care of. Molly's anyway. She takes care of her business. Yeah, she's good. It's good. Do it on the road, not in the yard. This way. There you go. Her little scamper. She scampers up the road. Good morning. Glad to see you. And you're gone. They're in and they're gone. They come in for a second and then they're gone. At least stop in and say, hey, and then leave. Let me know who you are. You are. Or stop in enough to give us the thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you'd like. We're not begging. I don't beg. You come in or don't come in. Hang out. Don't hang out. Hit all the buttons or don't. We're just happy you're with us for whatever amount of time it would be. She's making the rounds. Come on, pup. Come on. Come on. I don't know what you're eating over there, but sup it. She's not eating poop, is she? She's sniffing around. She's, yeah, she's chewing on something. Hope it's not another dog's business. Yep. That's what them dogs do, though. I don't know what that's about. Somebody's got to tell me in the chat why dogs do that. Maybe some undigested kibble in there. They don't want someone else to get it. I don't know. I'm glad humans don't do that. Keep it up. Colleen's on a turkey hunt. She's looking for the turkeys. Haven't seen the fox around. That's too bad. So I think I think bow season for deer is open. I think bird hunting is open, so pheasants and ducks. I don't believe turkeys turkey season is open yet. In November is when you're able to hunt deer with shotguns and rifles, I believe. Um, I think they also have muzzleloader season opens before rifle and shotgun. I haven't hunted in years. It's, I just don't remember when the season starts. I used to know all of that. I did it all. I used to duck hunt and pheasant hunt, partridge hunt, deer hunt. Although I've never been moose hunting or bear. I really had no desire to do that. Moose are big, although the meat's good. Um, they're just giant. I can't imagine trying to clean one of those and then carry it out of the woods. An 1,100 pound moose and a bear for that matter. I just don't like the meat and no desire to kill a bear. And at this stage in my life, hunting would be for necessity, really, and not for sport anymore. I have the skills. I just don't want to use them unless I have to. nice morning. It's brisk. 
I don't have a jacket on. It's not too bad. It's probably 50 degrees Fahrenheit. No, it's not bad. The air is still. There's no breeze or anything. It's nice. <clears throat> it's a nice autumn morning. You can see the trees. They're changing. That time of year here in New England. Well, it's that time of year in this whole country. But here in New England, people have remarked about the colorful foliage in the fall. It's uh, second to none. There's a leaf falling. Second to none. The foliage does change in other states, but people have remarked that New England's could be the best. I don't know. I have really nothing to judge it by. If you're watching and you know, you want to comment about it, let us know what you think the best foliage is. Where in the country has the best fall foliage? A lot of people do come here. Which is good for tourism in New Hampshire, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Vermont is just as beautiful. Yeah, it's New England in general, I think. Any New England. You know. It's one of the old New England towns, and the colors are all at peak. Just so lovely. We're going to Maine this weekend. Maybe I'll bring the camera, and we can take some some nice, colorful shots. The foliage. I'd like to go by the ocean. Maybe see some of the boats. Take some pictures. We're going to be really dressed up. <laughs> well, I may bring a change of clothing with us. Mm. So we're going for a wedding. So we'll be wearing, you know, formal wear. But uh, I'm really not a suit and tie kind of a person. I like my shorts and t-shirt. That's why when it gets cold, I really don't like it. I just want to stay in a t-shirt all year long. I need to I need to move to somewhere where it stays warm all year. Yeah, we would miss all these beautiful fall colors. Well, that's the nice thing about traveling. We can come visit. Spend a couple weeks back up here and then go back where it's warm. I've been watching others' videos. Hey, good morning. I see someone's in the chat. How are you today? This is just a quick morning walk. It's in our our Walking Molly series, which there's Molly. And they're gone. People come in and they go. People come in and they go. You come back okay. later and watch. Well, it doesn't matter. We're providing some content. I know it's not the most exciting, us going on a morning walk. But there is a method to my madness. Here comes the neighbor. No, no, no. She's got the cord stuck up underneath her. Oh, oh they're getting ready. It looks like they're... And having their roof or their siding or something done, which is always fun. Come on, oh, another car. No, you're not making friends. Not this morning. Good morning, Good morning. Molly. This way. Not, not today. <laughs> not today. Come on, this way. This way. This way. All right. <clears throat> that wasn't too uh, tough. Some of the neighbors are getting started early this morning. Looks like they're going to have some work done to their house. Probably making room for the crew to come in the driveway. See, the turkeys have dug all that up. See it? 
you can see the the darker spots it's where the turkeys have been scratching around eating the ticks and whatever other bugs yeah yeah oh bless you colleen they um they're good for the ticks we used to bring up chickens we had chickens and uh we never had a problem with ticks in the yard when we had the chickens yeah really yeah no bugs in the garden they really wouldn't bother the vegetables they just kind of root around looking for the bugs which was good yeah i miss them in a way they're a lot of work and they bring other critters around that we really don't want to have i don't know we didn't really have those critters until we had the stuff Ducks are dirty creatures. Yeah, those ducks were nasty. We had these Muscovy ducks. We weren't really fans. They were supposed to be Peking ducks when we got them as babies. And, they grew up to be uh, really different. That was a certain, a certain store where we bought them. We weren't forthcoming what they had. We no. them a nice home in Auburn with a person with a farm. Yeah, they went. They're living on a farm. So that's good for them. Messy, messy, messy. Come on. And they weren't the friendliest of ducks. No. We had a big, I think, I guess you call him a, a drake, maybe. Big male. He would come out and chase you. Bite. Molly. Bite you. No mushrooms for you. You couldn't have that at the house. No. Mean to the girl chicken. We had that duck. He was terrible. He'd be pecking at your legs and... Pinching you and stuff. He's good morning. I see. See you're in the chat. Good morning. Thanks for stopping in. This is our daily morning walk that we do with Molly and Colleen's in the chat. Morning. And uh, we do a quick walk every day. Get the blood flowing, and it gets Molly out of the house. Um, gives us a chance to wake up and say hello to the day. I hope you're doing well. Glad you could stop in. If you'd like, you can hit the thumbs up. Give us a like. And uh, if you're not part of the Astute Taurus family, we'd appreciate it if you wanted to hit that subscribe and smash that, that bell notification. And they're gone. What am I looking at? They could. Yeah, that could be turkey living at its best. I don't know. So we said we we're going to do a quick walk, but we ended up, we're doing our, our usual walk, about 20 minutes or so, 23 minutes. It is 6.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, it's getting brighter, a lot brighter than it was when we started, as usual. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's going to be up in the mid 70s. They said it's going to be unseasonably warm for this time of year. It is October 7th, and um, I'll take as many warm days as we can get, honestly. Warm is good, and it's good for you. You can hear Colleen's shoes. <laughs> Clip clop of the shoes. I'm ready for work. Our everyday walk. I'd say we do probably at least a half a mile, three quarters of a mile. Almost 3,000 steps. <laughs> she Colleen's got her Fitbit counting the steps. Almost 3,000 steps, she says. Which is. Actually, I think it might be that direction good. a little bit more. When we go to the left, it's 3,000. Okay. 
yeah, so we kind of live on, the roads we live on is shaped like a Y. And at one point, you can kind of go left or go right. And one, I think the right is a little bit further than the left side. <clears throat> and if we walk all the way down there, then you add some other steps in, but we won't be going that far. I don't like going all the way down there during the morning because there's dogs that live in the house down there and they start to bark. And I, I don't like yeah. to do that. They see day. Molly, they get barking. Come on. I'm sure our hey. neighbors would not be happy at seven in the morning to have their dogs barking like crazy. Yeah, no. Nobody wants to hear the dogs no. before 7 a.m. Making our way back to the driveway. In our nice little country neighborhood. Come on, Molly. This way, this way, this way. <laughs> Back to the driveway. <laughs> our long driveway. Several hundred feet long, our mini road. I was saying, I think in an earlier video, it was nice when the kids were little because they could ride their bikes in the driveway and they didn't even need to go into the street. Mm -hmm. They had, gave them plenty of length to explore and do their thing. Yep, yeah. Nice place for kids to grow up, especially boys. Lots of mud and dirt. Well, that's true. Yeah. Girls or boys, it's a good place to grow up. They can hunt frogs and find salamanders and pick flowers and climb trees. Kids had tree houses and forts they would build. All kinds of stuff. Woods they used to play in is now development. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had like almost 70 acres of wood, wooded land behind us. And now it's like 28 houses. But that's uh, progress, as they say. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on. This way. So. We are back at the house. I guess it wasn't a very quick walk, but I'll end it like I do every day. There's old glory hanging in her splendor. God bless America, greatest country in the world. Thanks for coming in for the short time that you did. I'm Jimmy, your astute tourist. We'll see you later.